you prob there probably can be uh, times where it, it, it you know it can be there can be mm -hmm. t toxic positivity for sure. Um, I, I'm not too sure how I would define that because I don't know how you can be toxic but also be positive at the same time. It, it yeah, would be it sounds hard stupid, right? It does yeah. because, like, for me, it, you know, I, I'm gonna be completely truthful when I say this. It's and, and you know, as humans, we, we're always going to have that day where it's not going to be our best day. Like it's going mm -hmm. to be a little bit down and, you know, it's go going to be negative, right? It's, we don't live in a utopian society, so you're not going to have perfect day every single day of the year. It's just not going to happen. But exactly. at least for me, I always try to be as positive as I can be, you know, and I always try to spread, you know, joy and, and you know, laughter with other people. I don't want mm -hmm. negativity to be spreading. I don't want to make people more depressed or sad. You know, yeah, because I think that's a horrible thing to do. And it's unfortunate how some people kind of live their life doing that, where they are intentionally trying to, you know, um, kind of spread that negativity, so to speak. Yeah. Make themselves but, feel better by exactly. Yeah, down. Like, yeah. That's, that's not, you know, that's ho horrible. That like, I, I it, that's kind of an awful way to live. And I don't want yeah. to be judgmental, but you know, if, and this is coming from me too, you know, years ago when I was 16, 17, I wasn't always like this. I wasn't really, you know, I just, I struggled with so many things in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I talked several times where, um, you know, depression and anxiety really, you know, almost led me to take my own life. And I said this, and, and I'm not trying to, to um, go into to that because I, I know this isn't really what, you know, uh, our intentions are, but I think because of the experiences I've gone through and, you know, the, the people that helped me along this, you know, along the journey, it's really made me appreciate, you know, that life is really worth living and that you have to mm -hmm. give it another day. You have to give it a chance because you never know. There'll be a light at the end of the tunnel and you'll be thankful that you're still here because, yeah. you know, life is really short and you never know, you know, when your time's up and you don't want any regrets. And I'm so thankful for the amazing people that, you know, have helped me get to this point. And I think because of them, I'm able to continue, you know, being who I am, the fact that I'm, you know, uh, I don't want to be self-centered, but I do try to be as genuine to everyone that, you know, that I meet. And, and I think all I want is for everyone to, you know, just smile, just be, you know, happy and positive and just, you know, be more down to earth and kind of just, mm -hmm. you know, just be, if anything, you know, just be civil with one another. You don't yeah. always have to agree, but at the bare minimum, just be civil. Like, that's all I ask. If, you know, you're not having your best day, that's fine. We all have those days, but just, you know, be respectful and just, it's not necessary to be, you know, judgmental and it's not necessarily to be mean. But that's, can, you know. can Lakers and Celtics fans coexist? Yeah. My best friend is a Celtics fan. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> it, it's no, but like, no, no. See, that, that's also the thing. It's we don't take it seriously. Like, okay, when it comes to the sports and our teams, yeah, we do get passionate, but we don't, you know, insult each other. Okay. Yeah. Like that's, you know, there, there's a fine line where you don't cross. And I think we've done a very good job of not crossing that line. Um, so, yeah, you can root for different, you know, teams or you can be of different political, you know, origins. You can be, you know, different race, religion, ethnicity gender whatever the case may be and you can still coexist and get along and be you know civil with one another it, it can work it can happen you just have to be you know you just have to be willing to put in the effort to make it work but you know like you know i i don't understand for example this is just an example let's say you grew up with someone you know your whole life right mm -hmm. and along the way they kind of um they because they mature and, you know, they, they go through different life experiences. They end up having different views from you. That doesn't mean they've changed as a person. They just may have yeah. different views, but that doesn't necessarily mean they are any different. And I think people kind of have to realize that at the end of the day, we're all human. We all breathe the same air. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, you just, I would just really love to see if, you know, there's just more positivity in this world. Um, you know, I, I said this before in, in several different spaces I've been in. It's, I wasn't always, you know, the <laughs> nicest person out there in the world. Like there were times where, you know, I wasn't 
the the very best and i struggled you know for years but you know i'm definitely still learning i'm definitely Wait, there was still... such a thing as evil ben that was <laughs> i wouldn't say evil but i would say more of like um uh what's the term i'm thinking of um, bitter kind of I, I was more angry so to angry. speak i i was angry i was angry at the world i was angry at a lot of people i took out my frustrations on the people i love and I hated that about myself. Even now, mm -hmm. sometimes I think about it, you know, it's that resentment that I still kind of feel like, you know what, um, you know, it's the regret too, where I wish, you know, I, I wasn't who I used to be. But at the same time, it's like, it's a learning experience for me. And it's why I think because of, you know, the experiences I've gone through in my life, it's led me to realize that, you know what, you have to treat people with kindness and you have to be, you know, um, uh respectful of one another because mm -hmm. at the end of the day life is too short and you ne never want to live with any type of uh, regret so you know um there's a lot for me to still learn like i'm not even perfect i'll be openly honest but i'm still trying my best to you know improve for sure well, brother you've got an attitude that i wish i had at your age man i like in fact i i i wonder you're a, you're an old soul dude because there's a lot of us that it takes decades to get to that point where we realize that uh, we're not perfect, but we're also not, you know, we're, we got, it's, it makes no sense to not strive to be positive about your life. I found people that talk about toxic positivity, you know, it's, I either put one or two categories, either there, it's somebody that wants to be negative and they just want to bash. They don't like it when someone's positive or, it's that fake positivity of Ben, you're amazing at whatever you do without really right. being genuine. And right. I think, you know, what's, what's good about like with you and, and others that we, we interact with is that mm -hmm. that is being genuinely positive where you're, you're like, Hey, you know, you can do this life is you're going to be fine. You're going to do this, do the best you can. And do you feel like we're, we're, do you feel like our society is heading that direction where, we're going to be a lot more respectful and, and, and better at communicating or are we going, or is most of society kind of being more la, 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 I don't want to hear about it. If you don't agree with me about pineapple and pizza, then we, then we can't talk. You know, I, I love that you brought that up because I've been kind of thinking, I think a lot of the reasons why, you know, um, society is the way it is now and it's because of the increase in technology. You know, mm -hmm. just for example, smartphones, tablets, like it's so much easier for you to get information now um, than it was literally 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. Right? You know, and so I think that does definitely have a role to play. But at the same time, I don't I'm not going to completely say that it's because technology. We are who we are because of it. I think it's also I think sometimes we lose direction and we lose our sense of purpose, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's kind of why I think so um, at least from what I've seen, I think people just, and I'm not saying this is everybody, uh, obviously, but I do think people sometimes intentional, intentionally will try to disagree just to disagree and then mm -hmm. like initiate some kind of argument just for the sake of it. Um, and I'm not saying everybody does that, but I feel like at least from what I've seen recently, it's kind of the case because for example, um, and I'm just going to use this as an example you know, um, let's say, you know, you like putting mayo on your burger, for example, someone else no. likes putting mayo on their burger too, but then they'll be like, you know, they'll contradict their own statement. They'll be like, I don't like mayo on my burger. Yeah. And then, you know, maybe they want to initiate some kind of debate or argument um, for that. And I think it's kind of ridiculous just because what's the point? It's food. Like it does not have to be, you know, a debate if you don't like it just leave it be and move on but it's i think some people just want to get on other people's nerves and so they'll go out of their way to try to initiate some kind of controversy to to kind yeah. of um, it's like you you post i like apples and they reply why do you hate bananas you exactly know? Like, That's it's a, like yeah. well come on i, I didn't say that <laughs> yeah yeah for sure why'd you choose apples all all fruits matter you know it's like oh come on dude <laughs> yeah exactly.
Catch new episodes of Mental Health Mondays every Monday morning at 7 a.m. Start your week off with a smile and some inspiration.